So ClickUp 3.0 is out and it is being called Productivity Reimagined by ClickUp. Today, we're going to overview everything it does and what to expect from the application. Now, today's feature is sponsored by ClickUp as part of our partner news program to give you what's new on the latest productivity applications. So a big thanks to ClickUp for sponsoring today's feature. So as part of this announcement, ClickUp introduced 3.0. You can find the waitlist below, but essentially it's a refresh of a few core areas and they are as follows. The design, the architecture, and in general, the performance. So let's go over some of the changes. I think the first thing to notice from it is the dramatic change in design. It now looks much more compact in terms of how it operates with breadcrumbs at the top and on the left-hand side, a little bit of a neater sidebar overall. Now you can also pop a window open on the right-hand side to see some of the different tasks that you're part of and also see each of your tasks in a different view, but in much more of a condensed fashion than they previously had it at the top of the page. Now, in terms of the reliability, apparently ClickUp have built it on a new foundation with cutting edge architecture to improve the reliability and performance of the application. Now, there are actually a few core features that are slightly different, and those are universal search. Now, Universal Search is designed to essentially integrate with all of the other apps you're using. They've demonstrated a few inside of their launch trailer, including Figma, Salesforce, Google Drive, Dropbox, and GitHub as well. But essentially, you can search whatever it is inside of there in these different accounts. So for example, if it's a Q3 enterprise deal from uh, the likes of Salesforce, and you want to see the revenue from that, then that'll naturally bring it up. And there are some neat filter abilities on the right hand side which looks like you can uniform and improve the task filtering so they've also improved the ability to create custom task types which allows you to create a task type as even things like accounts cases backlog items contact bug and much more which gives a bit more of a definition to each of your tasks and in general the ability to create tasks looks a little bit more refined than it previously did. They've also honed in on their inbox, making messages and activity much more viewable and much more like an inbox. So you can see a stream of the communication that's happening across your ClickUp account. Now, aside from that, they've also reintroduced the home area. So essentially, this is like a way for you to see your home and everything that's happening in ClickUp. Now, they had this previously, but and it was a nice feature, but they really enhance this with essentially widgets that can allow you to see your agenda, things assigned to you, comments, personal list, and focus for the day. And you can customize this further with improved backgrounds and much more. The customization does give you a little bit more function if you view it from the right hand side as well. So there's a few other things when it comes to utilizing overviews as well. There's these things called summaries where you can see them at the top of projects, which allows you to see more condensed pieces of information like documents, files, and most viewed items and naturally stuff that's important to your projects. It's naturally trying to summarize everything that's in multiple boards and different items could be pretty helpful. They've also rejigged the way that Documents Hub works. So you can see more of your documents, search them, find collections and see which been shared private and assigned as well. And finally, well, they do have a fair amount of more features that can be added, which I'll just summarize at the end. They have a new AI ability, which allows you to summarize items, generate action items inside of documents, and naturally take more advantage of things that are there. Some of them have been accessible in terms of the summarize block, which can be added to the top of each of the documents, which is pretty handy. Now, aside from that, they introduced a dozen new features like Command Center, the Conditional Logic and Forms, Improved App Center, Events and Meetings, Task View, Multitasking Tray, and naturally improving whiteboards and a lot more. You can find it, I guess, the overview of what is new and in full depth over on their V3 page, which I'll link below. But this was a overview of the latest ClickUp 3.0, what to expect, and a little bit more about it and how to get started.
So hopefully you enjoyed this overview. Thank you to ClickUp for sponsoring today's partner news feature about what's new with ClickUp. Thank you very much and I'll talk to you all very soon. Please do make sure to subscribe to Keep Productive and I'll see you all around.